All right, so I want to talk about the Tommy Lauren versus Beyonce whole Super Bowl situation. Um, yeah, to me that, because uh, I was looking at like Lovely T.I.'s video and, um, you know, she got her content um, taken down because um, the news station that Tommy had, that Tommy is on, she had see unauthorized use of her image or something like that but she let the young Turks and all the white YouTubers use her image so that's sending a clear message you know you, you want to go in on Beyonce and saying that her Super Bowl, Super Bowl performance was racist it wasn't racist you know the Black Panthers was not a hate group they was just a a very a formation of you know they was just a formation of you know black people who wanted justice and they had the mindset of both Martin Luther King and of Malcolm X but more so Mal Malcolm X so you know but she doesn't go in on Donald Trump or any of these other people but you know you want to because she says she liked the, the Kendrick Lamar um, performance. Well, wait a minute. He went in worse. So he actually said, you know, don't shoot us and all this and stuff on white people. Beyonce was more um, controversial just because of what she was wearing. You know, yes, I know Beyonce is more of a household name, but don't try to sleep on Kendrick Lamar either because he's just not black famous. He's famous. So that whole situation for me is just. You know, she's very uneducated, you know, because she got mad because Charlemagne the God basically styled on her ass, and, you know, <laughs> you know, you got called donkey the other day because you were. And that, that whole, um, the whole interview that she had with them, he styled on her. He gave her all the facts. He wasn't, he did not lie, you know, but she can't take, you know, the heat when it's put on her, you know. The whole situation about it is, you know, I'm glad Beyonce spoke about it because, you know, hey, it's a topic that needed to be spoken about. You know, there's a lot of innocent black people. That's the ones we're talking about. We're not talking about niggas who shoot up five convenience stores, rob, rape three women, rob two banks or whatever. If you get shot, that's justified. But we're talking about the ones that's innocent. Because Trey Melvin even had to come out and say, you know, he was, um, how you call it? he was stereotyped. And, and it needs to stop. You know, we shouldn't have to, you know, watch what we wear or take off something as simple as a hoodie or not wear braids or stuff, you know, just to live. We should be able to live as people because we are people. At the end of the day, we go on the ground, just like everybody else, or get cremated or whatever. You know, it's, the situation is stupid because it, they saying it's anti-police. It wasn't anti-police. But if you're a bad cop, then you should take notice. You know, I just feel, you know, the whole situation is stupid because Beyonce is going to get protection whether you're not going to protect her or not. You got people, the Nash, the Islam people want to protect her. In my case, they better than the cops, so, hey, you know, and these ex-Marines making stupid um, internet memes and stuff, you know, sh nothing she said was, she didn't even say anything, you know. She just basically said what everybody was thinking. And Kendrick Lamar went in, he actually went in. But, you know, people are always going to um, want to be racist under the table. But, you know, we're calling you out on it. So, Tommy Lauren, Tommy Lauren is just a dumbass trying to use Jay-Z's um, past, you know. Because it's funny how you don't, like, people, like the dad from Seven Heaven, you know, he actually came out and said he raped all these women, all these underage girls. But yet, still, there's no internet memes and shit of him. But Bill Cosby, you know, you got ex-supermodels that have been coked up and people who you don't even know saying oh yeah we oh yeah we got raped but you know they don't have a consistent story 
and on top of that they you know now he's trying to backtrack and then on top of that you know people just jump on the bandwagon not even knowing if he did it or not you know I just think it was consensual sex but you know he was cheating on his wife probably but you know, I just think it was consensual and you know people when it's time for payday you know they'll come at you the, like Biggie said, the more money you come across, the more problems you end up seeing. So that's just my whole rant on the whole situation. Let me know what you think of it. As you can see, you know, I put not sorry around the mouth. Because I'm not sorry for any things that I say. And sh so should Beyonce or anybody else. If you wrong, at the end of the day, what's done in the dark is going to come to light. What's done in the dark will come to light. I don't know why this generation thinks that they can do the utmost disrespectful shit and think that, oh, you know, nothing can happen to me. Well, you're not invincible. Something can happen to you. All right. This has been Real Black Ass Talk with Chris. Oh, and P.S. about the whole situation. Again, um, I'm not anti-white. I'm not anti... Um, I don't even consider myself pro-black. I'm just a person who wants to see everyone equal, see everyone succeed, you know. Not saying I'm against white people, so um, if you do, you're a little decept, no, I don't want to use Decepticon, that's somebody else's word. Um, so you haters and trolls, um, don't be trying to come for me saying I'm anti-white or I'm just doing this for Black History Month, because I will be doing more bl real black ass talks with Chris. You know, this channel is just for me to vent, for me to put my um, word out there, not trying to become famous or trying to get made into a wax figure like all these other YouTubers or whatever, because black YouTubers have it more harder. But I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm just saying, so stuff sticks out like a sore thumb, and some things hide in plain sight, and it just needs to be called out. That's what I'm trying to get at. So if people are just trying to hate or say, Oh, I'm against white people or anything. No, I'm for everybody. If I'm, I, like Eminem said, I don't care if you're black, white, straight, gay, um, Ethiopian, whatever. As long as you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. As long as, you, as long as you respect me, I respect you. I don't care who you are, what you did, where you from. <laughs> as long as you love me. Yes, I'm a '90s kid. Yes, that's from Backstreet Boys. <laughs> All right, peace.